Hello everybody, welcome to this next video. In the last video, we were discussing the examples of vector spaces. So in the last example which I have discussed, that is MMN, this is matrix of size, all the matrices of size M cross N with entries from R or C or any other field, right? This forms a vector space over the field from which the entries are taken. So M, M, N forms a vector space over, this was the fifth example, over R and the operations are defined as, so you have a fixed size of matrix, say 2 cross 3 and another is also a fixed size, M cross N, 2 cross 3. So addition is like simple matrix addition, you add component wise, okay, component wise addition. And then the scalar multiplication is defined as alpha times the matrix. Each entry will be multiplied with this alpha. Right. So this is a normal multiplication of a matrix with a scalar. Multiplication of a matrix with a scalar. So you can see that with these two operations, MMN forms a vector, uh, vector space over R or C or any other field F from which the entries are taken and the last example is this is function space so function space fx right so here you have to understand you have x any known empty set then you have function from that non empty set to a field say r okay here you can have any other field also here you can have any other field also right now you collect all such functions collect all such functions right so you have a space f of x where f is from x to r and x is non-empty we denote this set as f capital f over x now the claim is fx forms a vector space over R where addition is defined as normal addition of functions and alpha times fx is defined as whatever usual we do with the functions. Right Here we can see that our additive identity is is the zero function right so you have a function from x to r which takes every element of x to zero so this is your zero function that x has additive identity and then you have additive inverse so for a function f of x we have minus f of x if fx is in capital f of x this also belongs to capital f of x and we have fx plus minus f of x this is equal to zero function right so this is in this way we have additive inverse and all other properties are true so these were the examples of vector spaces so till now what we have done we have done you know we have defined a field and then we have defined a vector space right and then we have defined uh, we have seen some examples of vector spaces right now we will move further to discuss about you know some properties of vector spaces what we can expect from this type of you know mathematical structure that is what we are going in the going to do in the next few videos thank you